everyone, Avery Paul here, and today we're doing two Transformer reviews in one. One of them is part of Transformers Legacy line, and the other one is Transformers Legacy Evolution. This one just came today, and this one's been out for, oh, quite a while. <laughs> As you can also tell, the box is a bit messed up. I've had it for a while, I just have forgotten to get around to reviewing it. But, this one just came out, and it's just a pretty much a repaint of this one. So we have Predacon Inferno and Predacon Antagony. So yeah, this one's red, like a red fire ant, and this one's just a black ant, like a carpenter ant. Pretty cool. Had to get both. And they're both a Voyager class. And if we turn this one around, 26 steps. This one, if we turn it around, who knows? I'm assuming it's going to be 26 steps just like that one since it's just a repaint. So, why don't we go ahead, get these guys open, and take a closer look. Alright, here is Inferno and Antagony. So, pretty cool. I definitely like having them right next to each other. That looks awesome. Uh, let's see. So, we'll go over what they came with. Got the books. And of course, since one's just regular Legacy and one's Legacy Evolution, different colors. And yes, they both 26 steps. Thank goodness. I don't know why I thought there might be a chance they'd be different. But yeah, so there's that. And they both come with these blaster things here. Pretty cool looking, I think. Now, with these, we'll just show off one of them. You can either put it in their hand, or what you can also do is have it on the back of them. A little nub right here on the very end. Just pop that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, these, the back part doesn't like to uh, stay still. It does move around a bit, all these little parts here. Now, there is one difference. Antagony over here came with a second head. Not bad. Looks, uh, Quite devilish. But you know what? I still prefer the one it comes with on it. Now, the cool thing is, which I'm surprised, they actually have, well, this one I'm surprised about, but they both have the clear plastic eyes where you can shine a light through and get it to light up. And also, the little head here also has that. You can just shine a light right through. I like using a the laser pointer to show them off, especially when you have the red light, makes it work a little bit better. Now, the one thing I find it's a little difficult to get the heads off. Uh, for one thing, trying to get the heads off, chances are you're gonna mess up the back end. It's supposed to be open like this from what the directions show, but you have to grab a hold of it somehow, and the head is really stuck on there pretty good. There we go. And putting it on also isn't that easy either because this. The little neck piece here likes to move around. Ah, see, there it goes. I mean, it looks okay, but like I said, I prefer the other head. All right, I got the other head back on. Took a little bit of effort, but it's there. Now, one cool thing about both of them, you can actually open their mouths. <laughs> that looks really cool. I love that. Little sharp, pointy teeth in there. Alright, so I had to do a little bit of research. Antagony over here, I guess part of its name is because it's a female. Ant. Aunt. But, yeah. And also, she looks different in the comics. And there's another toy version of uh, her that came out. But yet, again, it doesn't look like it would in the comics. No, they just went with a paint redeco for it. Which, I don't mind. It's just kind of strange. But, whatever. Now, there is uh, some media where it's a male. I can't remember which one it was. But, usually it's female. But, even the male version didn't look like this. Oh, well. So, pretty cool. I love the looks of these. So, we got Inferno over here. Obviously, it's a red fire ant. Inferno. Uh, get it? He does have a little bit of like purple 
right here on the arms. He's got this nice metallic blue for his head. He's got silvers. He's got black. He's got kind of like this gray, grayish brown for legs. He's got clear blue eye plastic for the giant ant head here. Turn it around. You get more of that metallic blue in here. It's really good color scheme. And if we go over Antagony, it has a couple shades of purple. We got a lighter here, then we got a metallic purple there, and we get this darker, clear purple for the eyes on the ant head here. And the body is mostly black, just like it would be a uh, carpenter ant. And over here we get, well, just some silver and yellow. So, less colors than Inferno, but the color scheme still works wonderful. And really cool that this one actually has color on the back end of it. Whereas Inferno here, none. Just red. And I really like the legs and everything, like, really good job with those. And they can be moved, like, on the wrist here. It's on a separate little swivel piece. So you don't have to move the whole arm or anything to get it to do it. Now here, it's not, but you can still rotate it around. You just can't go this way. I mean, you could if you move the whole arm, but then you're going to move everything. And then you get these back ones way back here. Those can also move around. And they can also bring the whole thing up and down. Of course, these legs kind of get in the way of things. Not bad. And I like the details on... So, the details are going to be the same on both. We've got all these ridges here. We get ridges all over the legs. Ridges on the cod piece. The head design is pretty cool, too, if you look. All in all, I really like the looks of these things. I don't even mind that it's just a repaint. Sometimes I feel like, you know, it's just a way to get our money. Just come out with another figure, but just change the colors on it and say it's a new guy all of a sudden. A new Transformer when, eh, they could have put more effort and made a whole new, you know, tooling system, but, mm, whatever. So, also, they have Predacon symbols right here on their shoulder. He has it too, over here on Inferno, but it's a little bit harder to see just because the color is purple and it's on this darker gray, so it kind of blends in. I mean, actually, it was looking pretty good on the camera, but when I look at it not on the camera, it's kind of hard to see. Let's talk about articulation. Since they're both the same, we only need to look at one of them. So we got the heads, they can go around. He can obviously move his jaw. His head does not really go up or down much. It's got a little wiggle there. Same with going side to side. A little bit better than forward and back, though. Then we get the arms. They can go up. They can go around all the way. Even though the legs are all here, it can still manage to go around without hitting anything. You know, you just have to move the legs to have it be like that. Then right here, you can rotate just the bicep. Oh, yep, now it's hitting stuff. And there we get elbows. And these are double jointed and we get the hands hands can also spin around we get the waist grab a hold of those up oh, I'm grabbing one of the extra legs this will go all the way and we get yep get everything packed in order there we go move these up let's go ahead and nice 180 forward and back of course with all this stuff it gets in the way then we get the thigh we can spin that around and we get knees now the knees are not double jointed but we get a 90 then down to the feet the feet do not spin but they can fold in they fold in really far and besides that, we can fold it down. And then also the heel part goes down. And that's it. 
So I guess I'm going to have to transform them into ants, huh? Alright, I'll get on that and we'll take a look at them. Alright, here's those beautiful Predacons in their ant forms. So we have Inferno here, nice fire ant. I like the color, especially right here. You get a little bit of uh, purple. Really nice. And then you get, obviously, more purple on this one. Shiny purple. Very cool for Antagony. My favorite one. Now, uh, I did have an easy time putting these things together, I can tell you that. Right here, you're supposed to put the hands... Yeah, obviously you're not going to be able to see it, but you fold the arms in, there's a little like square in there, you're supposed to put one of the fingers for the hands in it to keep it in, but they didn't want to stay in too well from the directions, I don't know, I just didn't, it was not easy getting these right, except for Antagony, this one was actually easier to do, but this one, the pieces just didn't want to work right, I don't know why, but whatever. I really like them. And we can see we have antennas here. These actually can move independently. And we've got mandibles. They can open really wide. And there we go. And I just realized on the camera, it's showing up kind of like blue. But it's not, I don't know how it'll look uh, <laughs> when I edit this, but yeah, this is purple. Now this is blue. This looks right on the camera. Well, looks a little bit brighter on the camera. Very cool. And you can also move the legs around. This can move here. You can also move this pot here. This one just goes like that. And this one up and down. All in all, I like them. Now you can still put the weapons on. Put them up on the top. And then, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It was, uh, they mean like drone ants. Doing all the work. Alright, well that's just been my view of Transformers Legacy Predacon Inferno and Legacy Evolution Antagony. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you'll have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.